Are you done? Can I can I make my video now? Okay. One time, and then I'm making my video. Ah, this thing's gross. No, I said once. Everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Ryan and I am the laser noob. So the last project we did was pretty disastrous with uh, some powder coat. Didn't really go as planned, but I will be doing another video on that. I got it all figured out. Um, but today we just want, we just want a quick win. We just want the dub. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some leather patches or faux leather patches that I got off of Amazon. They're two and a half inches by three and a half inches. They're simple, they're quick. They take like four minutes to burn on the one that we're gonna do today. So a couple that I've done so far, uh, here, uh, if you live in Florida, you, you know what salt life is. You see that all over, everybody has that sticker on their truck, I swear to God. Um, another one is a little stormtrooper patch. Now these things are great. You can put these on, on hats, you can put them on gym bags, uh, Carhartt work jacket, whatever. I mean, you can put them on all kinds of stuff, luggage. So we're gonna hop into light burn. I'm gonna show you guys how I got this all set up on my spoil board so it's all centered. I'm gonna show you my settings on light burn. Um, and then we're gonna burn one and we're gonna be done. It's that easy, right? It is today, trust me, because I've already done it. Let's get to work. As you guys can see here, what I have done is I have taken a leather patch and what I did is I measured corner to corner. I just put a ruler across there, made a little ink mark, and then corner to corner here with the ruler, made another ink mark. That got me the center or as close as pretty much you're going to get the center of this patch. Then I just took a thumbtack and I put it through the patch just like that, made a little hole. Then I came down here and I went to a spot on my spoil board and I put a hole directly center of that minus 90, okay? Then I put it back in the patch, put it back on that minus 90 so it's in there. just like that. Then take a pen and mark the outside of it. Now we have a template. We know exactly where that that's going to go. So as I burn a patch, I can put a clean patch on there, get it in there, and I'm set. I mean, it's, it's, it's that easy. So one off, one on, nothing to it. So with that, let's go ahead and turn our laser on and hop over to light burn. All right, so as you can see, if you guys look uh, up here, uh, my height and width are set on this little Stormtrooper helmet that, that I did. Um, did the height at 55. Now, I measured the patch. The patch comes in at like 57, 58 millimeters at the stitches. So I wanted to be just inside that, and I made this I made this pretty close. I made it pretty tight. I mean, a millimeter, millimeter either way, and, and I'm burning the, the stitches. Um, but I actually got it centered right, and I, I mean, I, I burned a couple of them, and so far they're good. 
You're going to want to take your air assist nozzle off for this. Uh, when you're burning this, it will gum up your air assist nozzle. So make sure you take that off. You're not going to be using air assist on this anyway. So we've got everything is all set. I've already gone and set my set origin and my finish position for this project. Um, you guys will find that your origin is not always going to be exactly the same when you turn your laser off and then back on. Something about it when it goes to the, like mine goes to the home position automatically. When you turn your laser off and then you turn it back on and it goes to home and you go to, you click on go to origin, it's usually like a couple of millimeters off uh, one way or another. So, I mean, it only takes a few seconds to, to get it set up. So I just do it on every project where I actually need, you know, that and I'm doing it from the center. So we're going to be doing user origin. We're going to be starting from center. And I will grab a leather patch. I'm sorry, a faux leather patch. And we're going to get that thing in there. Just like so. Sometimes they move as soon as you take your fingers off of them. Put that right there. It's looking pretty good. So our leather patch is in there. Now I'm going to hit go to origin. And then I'm going to frame. And it frames inside the, the stitching. So you can see here um, we got 60 uh, millimeters a second, 70% power. User origin, we're starting at center. We framed it once, we can frame it one more time just to double check. And it looks great. So let's go ahead and start. So I told you today was going to be easy, it, nice and simple, like f just about four minutes. It's done. Here's the one that I originally did. Ooh, focus. Here is the one that we did today. They are the exact same. Nice and easy. It's a dub. I like the dubs. So anyway. Um, Please, if you have any questions, put them down below. I will answer them in the comment section. Uh, hit the like button. This, this 
smash this little thing over here and subscribe to the channel. That helps me out. Um, but if you guys also have any anything you want to see done, you know, got any requests, put that down in the comment section and I'll take a look at that. And if it's something that I can do on my X-Tool D110 watt, we'll see what I can do about getting it done for you. All right, until then, have a great day. Silver, go. Next video.